The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 13. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on April 14th, 1973 in Los Angeles. Deena Svinjatha Dehi Kaumanang Jobanang Jara Tatha Dehantram Prati Dheera Sata Namayat So, this is a statement by the Supreme Personality of God, Bhagavan Ubaj. Huh? Yet, you are not this body. The first instruction or spiritual understanding is, is to know that I am not this body. This is the beginning. Uh, the so-called yogis that are exercising the body, studying the psychology of the mind by charts, by so many humbugs, but our philosophy that we are not this body. And what is the question of exercising the body and spiritual realization? If I am not this body, then how I can realize myself? simply by some gymnastic process. So this is the mistake. The karmis, gyanis, and the yogis. The karmis, pretty worker, materialistic person, they want bodily comforts. The only idea is how to get the best comfort of this body. This body means the senses. We have got uh, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, tongue, hands, genitals, so many senses we have got. So as soon as we are in the bodily concept of life, Immediately the necessity is for sense gratification. But Krishna says to John that you are not this body. So therefore, my self interest does not depend on my bodily comforts. They do not know this. Everyone at the present moment in this age, they are only business is how to gratify the senses. The Western countries, uh, they have got little information, but uh, in India there was cultivation of all kinds of philosophy. The atheist philosophy was there, Charvak Muni is the a chief of the atheist class of philosophers. So he said, hedonism, the Western philosophy is hedonism, that uh, eat, drink, be merry and enjoy, this philosophy. So long you have got this body, eat, drink, be merry and enjoy. The Charvaguni also said like that. Rinam kritya ghritam priveth. In India, uh, bodily enjoyment means first tongue. Tongues enjoy everywhere, here also. Uh, tongues enjoy. So if we want to control our senses, therefore, uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, following the footsteps of previous Acharya, he says that control your tongue. 
control your tongue. And in the Bhagavad also it is said, Atha Sri Krishna Ramadi Navhavet Grahiham Indriyai. With our these blunt senses, we cannot understand Krishna. We are not possible. The senses are so imperfect that you cannot acquire any perfect knowledge, material or spiritual, by the senses. That is not possible. Atha. Uh, even if you cannot uh, know perfectly the affairs of this material world, uh, just like they are studying the moon planet, the nearest planet, besides this moon planet there are millions and trillions of other planets. They cannot say anything uh, because the senses are imperfect. How you can understand? I can see, say, up to one mile. But when there is question of millions and trillions of miles, how you can use your senses and have the perfect knowledge? Huh? So you cannot have even material knowledge perfectly by using these senses. What to speak of? God and spiritual knowledge. <coughs> that is beyond, beyond your conception. Therefore, Shastra says, Atha Sri Krishna Namadi Navavi Grayam Indriyai. If you want to know God by mental speculation, that is frog philosophy, Dr. Frog, calculating Atlantic Ocean, sitting down in the well. This is called frog, frog philosophy. You cannot understand. Then, how it is possible to understand? The next line is, Sevanamukhe hi jivhado sayame vasputat. If you employ your tongue in the service of the law, he will reveal himself to you. He will reveal. Revelation. Ah. So therefore, we have to control the tongue. What is the tongue's business? The tongue's business is test and vibrate. So you vibrate in service of the Lord, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna means, O Krishna, O the energy of the Lord, kindly engage me in your service. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna. It has no other meaning. Oh, my Lord Krishna, and oh, the energy of Krishna, Radharani especially. Finally, both of you engage me in your service. As Narthandas Thakur says, Haha Prabhu Nanda Sutta Vrishabhanu Sutta Jutta. My Lord Krishna, uh, you are well known as the son of Nanda Maharaj. And your eternal consort, Radharani, she is also known as the daughter of King Vrishabhan. So both of you are here. Aha Prabhu Nanda Sutta Vrishabhanu Sutta. Karuna Karahaya Iva. Now I have come to you. Please, both of you, be merciful upon me. This is Hare Krishna. Be merciful upon me. Narottama dasa kahe na thaliyo ranga pahe. You are lotus feet, you have got. Don't neglect me uh, or push away with your lotus feet. Uh, I think if Krishna kicks and push away, uh, that is our get from you. You see, if Krishna kicks, with his lotus feet, go away. Uh, that is also great fault. What to speak of accepting? Uh, just like when Krishna was kicking on the hood of the Kaliya, 
So the Kaliya's wife prayed, uh, My dear sir, I do not know this culprit, Kaliya, how he became so fortunate that his hood is being kicked by you. Uh, your touch of lotus feet, great gates, sages, saintly personal, uh, trying to meditate upon millions of years, but this uh, Kaliya, I do not know, what did he do in his past life that he is fortunate that his food is being kicked by you? So, or, this is our position that uh, we cannot understand Krishna by our mental speculation, limitation. That is not possible. We have to engage. Sevan Mokhi Jiva Do. Beginning from jiva, from tongue. Tongue is the greatest enemy and it is the greatest friend also. Uh, if you allow the tongue to do whatever it likes, uh, smoking, drinking, eating meat and this and that, then it is your greatest enemy. And if you do not allow the tongue, you can control the tongue, then you can control the, all the senses. Automatically. Tāra-madde jūbhāvati lobhomāya sudhuru-madde tāre jeta kothina saṅśāre krishna bara dayamāya kuribāre jūbhāyāya saprasād anna dila bhāyai sai prasād anna pāya Radha Krishna Gunaga Prame Dako Chaitanya. So tongue should be used always uh, for glorifying the Supreme Law. That is our business is the tongue. And the tongue should not be allowed to anything except Krishna Prasad. Then you become liberated simply by controlling the tongue. Uh, and if you allow the tongue to do anything, then it is very difficult. So the spiritual education, as Krishna says, begins when you understand that I am not this body and satisfying the senses is not my business. Because I am not this body. If I am not this body, why shall I bother myself to satisfy the body only? Body means the senses. This is the person. So the karmis, gyanis, yogis, they are all trying to satisfy the demands of the body. The karmis are directly doing that. Um, eat, drink, be, marry, and jar. That is their pleasure. Uh, Gani is also, is simply trying to understand that I am not this body. Uh, neti, 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 neti. This is not, this is not, this is not, this is not. This. The yogis, they are also trying to uh, come to the point of controlling the senses by bodily exercise. What is you? So their center of activity is body. Center of activity is body. And our philosophy begins that you are not this body. When they will pass their examination in studying this body, then they may be able to understand what is their function. But our philosophy begins that you are not this body, postgraduate study. You are not this body. That is Krishna's instruction. Huh? Uh, we have seen so many big, big politicians 
and scholars in India. They write comments on Bhagavad Gita, but they write on this bodily concept of life. Hmm? You have seen in our country the great leader Mahatma Gandhi, his photo is with some Bhagavad Gita. But what did he do throughout his whole life? The bodily concept. I am Indian. I am Indian. Nationalism means that's bodily concept of life. I am Indian. I am American. I am Canadian. But we are not this body. Then where is the question of I am Indian, I am American, I am Canadian? So they have no this knowledge, the bodily concept of life they have absorbed and is still the authority of Bhagavad Gita. Just see the fun. And Bhagavad Gita teaches in the beginning, you are not this body. And they are in the bodily concept of life, they just try to understand what is their position. What they can understand Bhagavad Gita. If one is feeling that I belong to this nation, I belong to this family, I belong to this community, I belong to this cult, I belong to this, I belong to this religion, everything is bodily concept of Lord. The yogi is there also trying to understand by bodily exercise. The gyani is also trying to know, understand fully that I am not this body. And the kormis, they cannot understand. They are as animals. The animals cannot understand that he is not body. So, uh, factually, the kormis, ganis, yogis are a little maybe elevated than the animals. That's all. They are on the animal platform, but it is a little elevated. So I give this example, perhaps you heard it, that the dry side of the stool. Uh, India, they pass stool on the open field. So at the end of the day, because there is sun sign, the upper side of the stool becomes dried. And the lower side is still moist. So somebody says, this side is very good. <laughs> he does not know it is too after all. <laughs> this side or that side. Uh, so these rascals, they are on the bodily concept of life and they are thinking that I am nationalist, I am yogi, I am this, I am that, I am that. This is the philosophy. So long you are in the bodily concept of life, you are no better than the animal. That is the Bhagavad philosophy. You are animal. Jashyatma buddhi kunape tridhatuke. Jashyatma buddhi kunape tridhatuke. Sadhik kalatra dishubhavma ijjadhi. Jatirtha buddhi salile na karahichi janesu avigyesu saiva gokhara. So, gokhara means, go means cow, khara means ass, animal. So, who is that? Just shatva buddhi kunapi tridhatva. This bag of tridhatva, kapa pitta bayu, if one thinks that I am this body, I have this body. And in body relation, because in body relation I have got my family, society, children, wife, country, and therefore they are mine. So this shatva buddhi kunapiti dha. Sadhi. Sadhi means is thinking they are mine. I am the. Sadhi kalatra dishu. Kalatra means wife. Through wife we get children, we expand. The Sanskrit word is tri. Tri means expands. I remain one. As soon as I get wife, I get become two. 
then three, then four, then five, like that. That is called stri. So, our expansion, these expansions, this material expansion, bodily expansion means illusion. Janasya mohoyam ahangamameti. This illusion increases. That I am this body and in bodily relation, everything is my. Ahangamama. Ahang means I and mama means my. So, so long one shall remain in the bodily concept of life, his illusion will increase. It will never decrease. Therefore, the first instruction of Krishna to Arjuna, because if Arjuna would not have been in that position of illusion that I am this body and the other side, my brother, my grandfather, my nephews, they are all my relations. How can I kill? This is illusion. Therefore, to dissipate this illusion, darkness, Krishna began the first lesson that you are not this body. You'll have to change this body as you have already changed. You have already changed. You are a baby, you change your body to child, you change your body to boy, you change your body to youth, you change your body to old man. Old man. Now, after changes of as we have already changed so many times, similarly there will be another change. You'll have to accept another body. Very simple logic. You have already changed. So Tathade Hantram Prapti Dhirastatva Namayati. So don't be afraid that your nephews and grandfather or guru and these you know, they will die. Uh, they will not die. Change the body. That's it. So namuyati dhira. Dhira means sober, whose brain is nice, cool brain. One should not be bewildered when there is change of body. But the point is, Krishna says that tathad dihantram prapta Another change. That is, sober, one who is sober, he will think, then what kind of body I am going to get next? That is the problem. But these rascals, they do not know. Still, they are proud of their intelligence. He does not know for what kind of body he has come to this body and what he is going to get next body. They have no intelligence. Uh, even they uh, are said that suppose if you get next body, dog's body, they say, what is the harm? Yes? In uh, what is called Hawaii University. One student says like that. His student is being educated, but he doesn't care uh, even if he is going to become a dog next life. This is the education. This is the education. And they are intelligent. Professor Kotovsky said in Moscow, Shamiji, after finishing this body, everything, everything is finished. You see, he is professor. And he is student. So this is the position of so-called professor, student, university, all rascals. This is our challenge. All aspects. Because they are in the bodily concept of life, and this body, and the body has no change. Body is changing, he is seeing actually in this life. Still, he will not believe that after changing this body, I will get another body. 
It is very logical. Dehi na sminja tha dehi kumar jubunam jira. Tatha dehantram prati. Exactly in the same way as you have changed so many times this body, I will have to change. Therefore, one who is intelligent, uh, he should try to understand that what kind of body I am going to get next. That is intelligence. But that is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. What kind of body you can get? Janti Deva Brata Devan, Pitrin Janti Pitri Brata, Bhuteja, Janti Bhutani. What kind of body you can get? If you want to go to the higher planetary system where demigods live, for hundreds and thousands and millions of years, uh, just like Brahma. Brahma is one day you cannot call it calculate. Uh, so in higher planetary system you have got thousands and thousands of better facility for sense gratification and duration of life, everything. Otherwise why the Kormis, they want to go to the heavenly planet. Hmm. So, Janti Deva Brata Deva. So if you try to go to the higher planetary system, you can go. Krishna says. There is process. Just like for going to the moon planet, one must be very expert in the karma kanda, fruitive activities. By karma kanda, you get by the resultant action of your pious activity. You can be promoted to the moon planet. That is mentioned in the Simad Bhagavatam. But you cannot enter a moon planet by your this process. Uh, by force we shall go with this uh, aeroplane and jets and sputniks. Uh, that's not possible. Uh, suppose if I got, I've got a uh, nice motor car in America, if I want to enter, in another country, forcibly. Is it possible? No. You must get the passport, visa, you must get sanction from the government, then you can enter. Not because that you have got a very good car, you will be allowed. So we cannot by force. This is foolish attempt, childish attempt. They cannot go. Therefore nowadays they stop, they do not speak. Uh, they are realizing their failure. In this way you cannot. So, but there is possibility you can go if you uh, adopt the real process, you can be promoted. Similarly, uh, you can go to the Pithri Logas uh, by offering sadhas and pinda, you can go to the Pithri Loka. Similarly, you can remain in this Loka, uh, Bhuteja. Similarly, you can go back to home, back to So who is intelligent? And if you ask what is the benefit by going to the planet, back to home, back to Godhead, uh, that is assured in the Bhagavad Gita. Mamupeta Kantya Dukhalayam Sasatam Napnubanti. If you come to me, then you won't have to accept again this material body which is full of miserable condition. He will remain in your spiritual body. So our Krishna consciousness movement is meant for, uh, I mean, say, allowing, elevating all living entities. Of course, it is not for all. Uh, it is very difficult. But anyone who has accepted this Krishna consciousness movement, if he follows uh, the principle, then he is surely going to home, back to home, back to God. That is certain. Uh, but if you deviate, if you become attracted by Maya, that is your business. But we are giving you information. This is the process, the simple process. Chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, be purified. Uh, be remain always liberated from material classes. 
तक्तागे हम मामों पे था जन्म कान्मो में दिव्यम जुझाना थी तो इफ यू सिंपली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णा देन तक्तागे हम आफ्टर क्वीटिंग दिस बॉडी मामी थी ही विल कम टू मी यू ट्राई टू रियलाइज एंड प्रीच दिस कल्ड फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द होल वर्ल्ड देन एवरीवन विल बी हैप्पी Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.